Hey guys, this is Serge from Discovering Destinations, and today we're visiting a sugar shack. Stay tuned for discovering the Charbonneau Sugar Shack and eight activities you can expect once you're there. This morning we woke up to the sun and spring-like temperatures outside, which inspired us to plan a road trip. So with the help of Google Maps, we found the Charbonneau Sugar Shack, located roughly 40 to 50 minutes from downtown Montreal. Once at the Sugar Shack, we realized our huge mistake. We hadn't made a reservation. And given how busy they were, we were extremely lucky when they found us a two-person table. At the restaurant, they served us a buffet-style three-course meal. Our server told us to ask them if ever we wanted seconds. The meal started off with drinks and salads. Then came the bacon, eggs. Then dessert, topped with maple syrup and hot fudge. Wow, after that huge meal, we need some fresh air. So we're gonna go and see the farm animals. And here we saw a turkey, goats, and even a hidden llama. It was really cool to see the children feeding and interacting with the animals. After that, we explored the tree sap production. This is a traditional setup for collecting tree sap. Although we're no experts, we were told the combination of cold nights and warm days means more sap, which is then captured in these tin buckets. And when these buckets fill up, the sugar shack will boil the liquid until it becomes of a thicker consistency. So for now, the sap looks like water, but it does have a subtle sweet taste to it. And with the sap comes the production of maple syrup. And if you continue to heat up the syrup, you'll eventually get toffee. And all this talk about toffee is making us hungry again. So let's go check out the snow toffee on ice. So this is the ultimate part, the dessert. So you grab a stick like this, and you just go ahead and you rip away at it. In addition to the complimentary snow toffee, our server gave us a coupon for a free cider sample. And since the cider tasting is in a different location, why not enjoy a tractor ride in the open air? Otherwise, it's a 12 minute walk if you feel up to it. The tractor stops in front of the Denis Charbonneau General Store. So you can either go in the store directly or go to the cider tasting instead. We were curious to see the various types of products on hand. This place is full of products. Some uh, barbecue sauce, some vinegar, some Chardonnay wine, uh, maple, everything. Everything is crazy. And now for the long-awaited cider tasting, which is located in a different shack. The setup was better than we imagined. As we entered, we noticed comfy red leather chairs. And as we continued to make our way inside, we noticed various sections for cider tasting. So we found a guide to help us find the right type of cider for our taste buds. 
on a les gueules, puis on a le goût, puis ben, on est bon. Puis le vide, en différence, c'est plus de goût, c'est ça. Mais c'est des bulles comme la chose, on est plus gros goût, puis aussi qui est plus sec, parce que vu qu'il y a deux plantations, le, la première fermentation, ça va mettre quelque chose comme ça, puis le deux semaines, c'est plus. Après deux semaines, ça donne ça. The connoisseurs are good at describing the ciders and very patient to allow various cider tastings. Mm. You like it? Delicious. It's really good. Everything we tasted today was exceptionally good, which motivated us to bring back some souvenirs. So we returned to the sugar shack by foot and headed to the general store. We felt a real festive vibe inside the store, which sells just about any maple products imaginable. So that's a wrap. But lastly, we wanted to describe the playground near the restaurant. It's great to enjoy the swings or the playground slides. Another thing we noticed suspended in the trees were zip lines and treetop treks which looked like a really cool activity for the springtime or summer. So we better plan another visit for that. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching our Sugar Shack video. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got more interesting stuff in the works. Catch you next time.